average front-engined rear-wheel drive car is more entertaining on a circuit. Is it this, the GT86? Or is it a car that costs, in the spec we've got it, £260,000 rather than under 30000 quid? And is the Ferrari F12? Is power and speed, does it talk to you more than feedback, feel and just good, honest fun? Okay, so what is the GT86 like around Snetterton? Well, this is quite a quick circuit, but the car does not feel underwhelmed on it. There are a couple of corners where you notice the relative paucity of, of power, but by and large, because it's fairly skinny tyred, they're not massively sticky tyres either. It's actually adjustable all the time. There's loads of communication through this steering and you get a very slight trace of understeer, I mean very very slight, on the way in followed by just absolutely as much oversteer as you as you want. Although this car has a reputation for being a drift monkey it really does flow with a just nice balance. Just drive it on neutral steer if you want to, have an armful of opposite lock if you want to, I mean, armfuls of it if you really want to. Oh, that is that is pretty lovely and it all happens it's relatively modest attainable take your hands off the wheel chat to a camera sort of speed oh, right then deep breath 730 horsepower of Ferrari F12 which revs to eight and a half thousand revs with all the driving aids turned off That's fast, fast, fast. Right, break before the 300-yard marker on the first lap, I think. Oh, yeah, a little bit of sidewaysness on the exit just to, just straightens it with the throttle because that's how much power this thing has. Oh, it just rockets out of there. So when you get this thing straight, it accepts loads of traction, it's only if it is mid-corner will it really unstick the rear. Once it's straight, it will accept full power very well. The thing is, there's so much up, you can just sort of send it sideways everywhere in any gear and when they say it, it's adjustable they're not kidding Am I having 10 times as much fun as a GT86? No, I'm probably not. I mean, this is more challenging to drive than a GT86, no question. GT86 is just playful, 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 playful. Do what you like. This is playful, but by the way, I have 730 horsepower, which is the better driver's car. You know what? It really comes down to what you're after from your day. They do both offer front engine rear drive relatively predictable handling thrills I would probably start my day in a GT86 oh, once I'd felt I got on top of it finish my day in one of these you don't need one or the other <laughs> you sort of need both